Americans in the Philippines are also keeping a very close eye on how the election will turn out. Charlie Francisco is in Makati together with a group of Americans awaiting the outcome of the polls. Shaila, what's the atmosphere like around there? Reg, here the Democrats abroad the Philippines viewing party in Makati where Americans await the results of the U.S. elections. Results are starting to come in and mostly from key states such as Pennsylvania and Florida believe to hint at the outcome of the elections. And most, if not all, who are here are hoping that their presidential bet Hillary Clinton will be able to secure electoral votes from these states. Irene Donahue, Democrats abroad the Philippines treasurer, says even though initial results show Donald Trump ahead of Clinton, they are not surprised given that Indiana and Kentucky are typically red states. But they remain optimistic since the 9 a.m. East Coast time will be the time to look at for the Democrats. And as of now, Clinton is slightly ahead of Trump. Donahue says they have been pushing for a Hillary presidency since the Democratic platform has a plan for immigration, climate change, living wage, and many social issues that are important for Americans. She asked Democratic's platform on Medicare portability, which asks Medicare to cover overseas U.S. citizens in approved medical facilities abroad, would benefit the medical industry in the Philippines. Let's hear what she has to say. Really, and. It, it can be, and we hope will be, an historic day. We could have the first female president of the United States of America. And that's something that Americans around the world, women around the world, should be excited about. Reg, so far there are 20 guests here and more are arriving as we await for results from other key states such as Iowa and Nevada. But we'll fill you in later as we get more updates, Reg. All right, we'll keep coming back to you, Shala Francisco in Makati for the Democrats Abroad Viewing Party.